We're turning to Desmos at this point with all of our regression knowledge, and we're going to use it as an additional tool to analyze data. So let's look at the process of analyzing in the form of steps. Step one, getting all of your data into Desmos. And there's two main options for this. If your data is already in a nice digital table format, then you can just copy and paste into the entry box. If your data, on the other hand, is to be entered manually, then you can use the plus button here, insert a table, and now you're ready to enter your values manually. Either way, as your data is entered, it appears in the graphing area. Step two, determining a best fit line or curve. And here, your experience with recognizing relationship shapes will be really useful. Does your data look linear? Does it look cubic? Maybe quadratic or exponential? Looking at the data, we try and determine what shape we see. What equation might fit this trend best? And to enter your equation, you need to know a few things about Desmos. For example, a linear equation would be y1 tilde m x1 plus b. Note that we use a tilde instead of an equal sign, as we want to be clear that we're looking for a best fit line or curve based on the data. Also note that we don't just put x and y in the equation. We need to clarify that we're referring to particular x and y values, the ones in our table. So if your table uses x1 and y1, then you would use x1 and y1 in your equation. In our example, we're using m and b for the constants. And really, a or b would work just as well. Once our equation is entered, Desmos calculates the values for m and b so that the line best represents the data. If it's not perfectly clear which equation would represent your data best, you can try additional equations. For example, let's add an exponential equation. y1 tilde a b to the power of x1, and it appears along with our best fit line. And we can consider which is a better fit. Step three, as we consider which is a better fit, it's not always visually clear which is the best. And this is where our knowledge about correlation coefficients and coefficient of determination is how we sort this out. Note that below each equation, Desmos has supplied some calculations for us. So we can compare our r and our r squareds to determine which is the best fit. And step four, predictions. At this point, you've plotted the data, you recognize the shapes in the data, and you've zeroed in on a best fit line or curve. And now you're ready to make some predictions. Now, whether you use the graph or your new equations, interpolation or extrapolation, it's time to make educated guesses related to your data. If you're using your graph to make the predictions, you can click on different parts to zero in on the areas of interest. If you're using your equations, you can grab these values and turn them into an equation to use for your predictions. And this provides a summary of the typical tools within Desmos to do regression analysis.